this is the edge of the road uh, on one of the colder evenings, but nevertheless you've still got people out and about and this is really the Middle Eastern Street of London. You've got everything from the Sunni Arabs at the top of Marble Arch to uh, the Shiite Iranians at the other end of the edge road before it gets to Kilburn and in between everything else you can imagine including people like me. It's, uh, it's not a bad place to spend uh, an evening. I certainly much prefer being here than uh, going into the West End proper when you get to the top of Marble Arch. And the, uh, the Lebanese businesses and what have you have really brought the, um, the road to life here with their shishas, the Lebanese restaurants, a bit of belly dancing. I think it's uh, always uh, intriguing here on the edge of the road what kind of views and perspectives you pick up on the Middle East. I find it far, far, far more informative about what's actually happening in the Middle East than anything I come across in the newspapers or on the telly. And um, that's not surprising because I think we've got a very rich and diverse, uh, dissident community from the Middle East. So they give you many insights which uh, I certainly don't get from other sources uh, in my, uh, my political and social. And one shouldn't forget when uh, we have the uh, 7th of July bombings uh, in London, uh, the attack on the Edge Road tube station was as much an attack on the Middle Eastern streets of London. Rather 9-11, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, surprising in some ways, but I was nevertheless asked whether I was a Muslim or not. Now with a name like mine, it's pretty damn obvious. And that's always my response, if that's important to people. Uh, and that's not me being in denial. Uh, it's me also not having to apologise for being what uh, what's, uh, I am. And that's one dimension uh, of my identity, being uh, a Muslim by name, a Bangladeshi ethnically. But actually, the more, more important uh, part of it is really when I go back to my ancestral home, that I find people don't define me as a Muslim or uh, a Bengali, they actually identify me as a Londoni which basically translates to the Londoner. And that actually is what we are essentially um, in our civic identity, Londoners. Uh, and I have no problems having that tag. And I think that probably says a lot more about me than the other tags. But the reality is in life we have uh, a multiple of identities and we move between them. Um, the, most, uh, the time where I feel the most English, British, call it what you may, is often enough when I go to the States. Um, and uh, I'm actually, uh, well, when you go there, I think you, you realise uh, how different we are from Americans socially and culturally. I think in reality, in life, we move between all those various facets of uh, our, ident our identities and we shouldn't lose sight of that uh, because it adds to the richness and that whilst in certain times of our lives certain parts of our identity will be emphasised more than others uh, it shouldn't be forgotten that uh, we have all these other identities as well. The Obama victory wasn't just significant for African Americans, it was also significant all of those of us who've got funny names. Remember, Barrett Hussein Obama. Now with a name like that you'd think uh, it, it'd be a liability to seek the highest office, but he's done it and I think that is a very important message as well which we should forget. But I'll emphasize the Hussein uh, for the simple reason that during the campaign 
uh, the uh, Republican neocons made some nasty insinuations about his middle name uh, and asked questions about whether he was a Muslim or a Christian. Now, all those who know him know very well um, that he's a Christian. But I was actually struck by uh, the response of Colin Powell's intervention when he said, well, even if, if it was Muslim, what's that matter? Does it say a lot that actually uh, we, sh we should uh, have uh, Muslim Americans aspiring to the highest office? Um, so I thought that was very heartening to not only have uh, Barack Hussein Obama as the 44th President of America and the Commander-in-Chief of, of the biggest uh, military presence on Earth, um, but also that uh, it shows there's plenty in a name and its significance and it means that all glass ceilings can be broken now, wherever uh, we are in the world. If it can be broken in, the, in America, in the America that 40 years ago uh, a black American would have to um, not share a bus uh, completely with uh, white Americans, or that uh, they, they didn't have the votes or many of the civil rights that are taken for granted now. If a society like that can change, we can live in hope for many other societies. Now, in the UK it's nowhere near as bad as it was for black Americans, and I'm sure that, um, uh, and, and I'm confident that uh, um, Muslim Brits can aspire to similar aspirations. Hell, we've had a number of uh, Muslim MPs now, uh, and it's not just MPs, it's at all the political levels, uh, at local government level, regional uh, level, in the Scottish Parliament, London Assembly, uh, but also I think increasingly you're seeing um, Muslim presenters of TV shows, news items, and culturally making a huge contribution. Um, I think we've got uh, plenty to be proud of, and long may that contribution continue.